Yo, what's going on, y'all? Shinizzy here. Gonna be doing a video here on Sea of Stars. This time I'm gonna be doing about the mini game. It's the Wheels mini game, and this one's pretty fun. It's just uh, a lot of people might be confused about how it works. So I think I'm about to show it to you guys. But most, uh, I want to show you where to find all the stuff, where it's at, and how to get to it, and from there on. Figure it out for yourself. Like, uh, of course, I don't want to spoil the game and the story for you. But, minor spoilers, there will be some a little bit of uh, location spoilers. But, it's location, it's not story. So, yeah, it's not spoiler. Alright, now this one's given. You know, so, you'll get this in the very beginning. So, don't even worry about it. You'll find it, it'll be right there for you. It isn't a big search. And uh, yeah, you just talk to him, you fight it, and then you'll be good. Now, you'll see later on that I'll be uh, doing it on the map so you guys can see where it's at. You guys can see that little blue haired dot. That's where the location is on the map. So, this is the, the Stonemason Village. I'm gonna go up over this way, follow my route, and then, yeah, you'll find them. I'll be circling around them sometimes. And just so that you guys can see. Alright. Talk to him. And then, uh, yeah. You basically beat him. Do your thing. Moving on to the next one. Lucent. Keep going on to there. And then you'll see it right to the left. Right there. Talk to him, do your thing, beat him, and move on. Remember, uh, always do the championship. But this one is simple. I, I mean, you have to get the uh, uh, the ship first. Once you get the ship, you press the uh, the L1 button, and then you move into the ship. And yeah, it's not a problem. You'll find this little uh, this table right here, and then Yolanda will will be the one to challenge you. So, yep, beat her, do your thing, move it on. Next place. Now remember here, you need to advance in the story so that you can actually uh, uh, go down these whirlpools. Now once you get down there, you can actually uh, come down to this little place, and then that's when you can actually face this guy. Face him, move on. Now right there on the map, you want to come down this way, uh, like I, I'm moving this on here just to show you there's a shortcut, you know, come down over here, and you have to do this through the map location and come down to it. Once you find it, then you'll understand once you get to it. And that's the location on the map, and uh, the moon cradle. Come on down the moon cradle. It's gonna be right here on the left. Pretty simple, just right here. Beat this guy, get the reward, and yep, moving on. Now another thing that you really, really need to do is talk to this little uh, child here and uh, turn in those uh, rainbow, rainbow shells. Once you do, then you'll get the, uh, the deed uh, later on in the game to actually uh, get to uh, Murth here and it'll it'll uh, yeah it'll uh, advance later on so that you'll finally get like an end or a tavern so you'll, you'll talk to this guy that's right around right where I was spinning around there but then later on once you advance the area you move into here and this is where it'll be talk to him Challenge them, beat them, and then, yeah, move on. Now, this is further on to the story. And, uh, like I said, I'm not going to spoil you guys on the story. Just, uh, I'm just showing you the locations. So, come on down this way. And also, uh, side note, this is, uh, this is kind of like what I did to actually, uh, get to what I've been doing. 
on a side note. So talk to him, beat him, and move on. Now this one's tricky. Yeah, okay. So you need to get here. Once you get here, this table will not be here at first. Okay? So what you need to do is talk to this guy. And then when you talk to him, he'll send you back. He'll send you back to somewhere else. And then what you have to do, you have to go back to a clock tower. And you have to buy something for 250 uh, gold. Once you have that, you return to him. And then you can actually uh, move on. So, yeah, here, look at on the map. That's a fast travel location right there on that face. This is also another uh, location to where it gets tricky and you get some shortcuts. From here, like uh, when you come up here, uh, when you go through the story, come on down this way, go down here, and it unlocks that short location. So it's, yeah, it's just a thing you want to do. Go and go for it. And this is the location for the, uh, the clock tower. Or the clockwork castle. Now from there, that's exactly where it's at. Keep moving on. And uh, you go up here and you just go up to this, uh, this elevator. Keep moving up. It's, it's part of the story so that, uh, yeah, you'll get it one way or another. So all you have to do is get to this location. You'll see this. You talk to that person on the left, and they'll, uh, they'll sell you that table for 250 Gs. And then you go back to uh, Rapine, and then you face them. Now, this is an example of a fight. This is what I use mainly. I use the assassin and the uh, the medic, basically. Now, what you want to do with this is be like mainly fully offensive. Find those things. Like if it looks like glitters, get them. It's a it's an all-out luck battle, basically. It's a slot system, so. Don't be afraid if you lose a fight or two. Just always look for the best ones. Keep them. And remember, it always goes in slots of threes. I grabbed that one in slots of four, but it does multiply a little bit more. So that's why you see the medic got a little bit more. That's why it uh, kicked up. And the medic will also, like, I, there's no, this is the thing. I'm going to show you when I get in my butt kicked. And I bring it back. So watch, watch why I'm picking, and you'll you'll find out why I'm doing what I'm doing. And hopefully this will help you guys out with uh, with doing um, your own roles, you know. Now you see there, yeah, he's already beat me. I'm only I only got like six, you know. I haven't been doing nothing much to him. So what do I do here? Keep her rolling. Oh, got lucky there. All right. See, with this uh, loadout, I don't need to worry about their castle or anything. It needs to end. They build up a wall. It ain't gonna matter to me. So I just pick my good old glitters and I keep rolling. Remember that's important because you wanna you wanna advance your characters or your uh, your your pawn pieces as fast as possible. See, look at that. I'm at four. I should be losing, but I already knew. I already know I'm gonna win. <laughs> and yes, this is the the last. Uh, the last uh, battle. So this is the hardest difficulty of the the reels, uh, the wheels game. So yep, yeah, hold on. Do not give up. 
always play it through. Now you can see I'm I'm just sending them I'm, I'm sending them off, man. These guys aren't doing nothing. Okay, sometimes yeah, you want to grab those doubles. But yeah, if you see that you can get like an extra one, do it. That way I'll send it in. Drop them down. Give them that extra little, uh, yeah, extra turn. That's what Assassin does. It's really good. Like I said, always grab those glitters. They work because, uh, they send off a bomb later on when you get the gold. And yeah, yeah, keep those going. You never know. Because, yeah, this is a slot system, so it's all about luck. Really. But even if it's about luck, I ain't worried. Because, bam, I got my glitters. <laughs> and that'll be it. And, uh, yeah, destroyed. Well, hope you all enjoyed. Take care. And I hope you all have a wonderful, beautiful, bright, Sunny day.